Dundalk. Welcome to Little Sister's Kitchen. It's January in Dundalk. It's cold, but we did just have a Ravens playoff win. So tonight I decided I would do something comforting and we're going to make something really fabulous. Homemade chicken pot pie. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm ready to get started. I have all my ingredients. Three chicken breasts, boneless cooked, two cups of cream of chicken soup, mixed vegetables, organic, one of the most important ingredients, European butter. This is cool broth. It's very delicious. It makes all the difference in the world. Heavy cream, a mirepoix, and two ready-made bread crusts. We're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you. I pre-cooked my chicken in a crock pot on medium for four hours three boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Then I pulled them with a Pampered Chef meat pulling tool. I heated up my butter in an electric skillet on low, making sure to spread it through evenly. In this case, I use Plura European butter because it's soft churned and I like the taste, but any butter will do. I then added in my mirepoix Mirepoix is simply diced carrots, diced celery, and diced onions. I bought this ready-made at Giant on Merritt Boulevard. I cooked it slowly on low for 12 minutes. I didn't caramelize it. I just made sure it was tender and fully cooked. While it was cooking, I had my room temperature pie crust, and I added it to my glass pie pan making sure to pinch all the edges and to be very careful because they can tear easily. I use ready-made pie crusts, but you can use grand biscuits or croissant pastry rolls, I've heard. And if you're creative, you can always make your own homemade pie crust. I added my pre-cooked chicken to my softened mirepoix and butter mixture. I cooked it through for about 12 minutes on medium, stirring intermittently. I then added my canned cream of chicken soup. You can also add cream of mushroom. It's delicious as well, equally delicious. The cream of chicken gives it more of a traditional Popeye look because of the coloring. I stirred that through, then added my heavy cream. All of my measurements will be clearly detailed below in the comments. I stirred and heated it through. Then I added my mixed vegetables. I'm using traditional mixed vegetables. They're organic. And frozen. You don't require these because mirepoix is quite tasty and you can leave them out or you can add broccoli, cauliflower, and a cup of cheese in their stead and it's also delicious. I simmered this on low for about 15 to 20 minutes. I added my mixture to my pie crust, spooning it in evenly this recipe is enough to make two Popeyes. Spoon it all the way through and take note of how hearty and rich the mixture is. It's delightful and flavorful. I then gently added the top pie crust, pinching the edges in a traditional fashion. I usually employ my husband Mark for this. He's a great detail man. My oven is preheated to 425 and it's baked for 40 minutes. The finished product, amazing, delicious, and awesome. You're gonna love it. Thank you for joining me. Great Ravens win. 
and I hope you enjoy your Popeye. I think you're going to love it. Remember to subscribe to Delightfully Dundalk and click like. And always remember, cooking is love made visible. Stay delightful, Dundalk, and thanks.